Uh, greetings, Sagittarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well. And this is a reading for uh, July 22nd to the 28th. And this is the theme of the week, Raphael, number seven, green. And look at this beautiful uh, card. You could be uh, exploring the outdoors in some way or coming upon a magical uh, garden and feeling very healed and renewed in this a new uh, home, new landscape, new situation you're moving into. And you're going to find that um, love is all around you this week, Sagittarius. But you might be traveling um, and finding some humor and some vitality around moving and changing. And uh, that is what I have for you as we come into uh, this um, week of July 22nd. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And let's see what the cards have for you today. And again, I wanted to thank each one of you for subscribing to my channel and following me um, with thumbs up and uh, comments. I really appreciate each one of you. Uh, I so enjoy doing your readings, uh, Sagittarius. And this is how you're coming in, the Seven of Pentacles. This could be a time of uh, you have that green light, that healing energy. You're moving toward a situation, and you're going to have to bring some humor uh, this week to whatever it is. Uh, what, if you're moving, you got to bring humor and, and levity to a conflict or confusion. Um, but you're moving um, a, toward a time of evaluating how far you come, how much you've grown, or what you do have. Um, and you're seeing, well, do I want to keep a, a planting and growing at this job uh, and this situation with my craft or my work? Or do I want to uh, move on and plant my seeds somewhere else? Um, and you've got the hermit. This is a Virgo energy around you. Uh, you might uh, be challenging um, whatever you're appraising, you're evaluating. But now you're evaluating it based on looking inward, introspection, maybe taking time out uh, to evaluate how far you have come. And you're getting some inner wisdom. You might be uh, having a teacher that you're listening to around uh, looking into what you have worked on uh, and getting some clarity and some wisdom about that because uh, what you're seeing at the foundation is, um, wow, the six of uh, pentacles. Well, you're going from the seven uh, to the six, so this has a lot to do with your uh, resources. Uh, this has to do with um, the feeling within your situation of give and take. Uh, is it balanced? Um, are you uh, at the foundation, at the root, out of your field of awareness, um, feeling some doubt about that reciprocity? And that could be um, leading you to evaluate, to appraise with wisdom, with truth, with inner knowing, taking time out uh, to look at uh, this situation clearly. There could be an inheritance or a gift uh, coming in. You could be getting a bonus at work. But there's a lot of gratitude financially. You could be helping someone else um, financially, or they could be helping you because Wow, another card of wealth. This is uh, the wealthiest a card in the sense it's pure potential. This can grow into uh, billions, an empire. But it requires you doing the work. And it looks like you have been working. You're evaluating whether you want to take uh, this uh, pentacle uh, and move it somewhere else, reinvest it, uh, have a new job, uh, take this opportunity somewhere new. And you're learning about that with wisdom because you are at the <clears throat> Ten of Wands saying uh, your higher power wants you to know right now in this week uh, that you're coming to the end of a very heavy burden, uh, that you've been shouldering responsibility uh, for maybe uh, quite a while now. And you're getting some wisdom because you've gone inward. You're learning um, about what your truth is, or what your higher power wants you to know about money, about wealth, accumulation of wealth, and appraising how far you've come. Being generous, being grateful with this new opportunity. But it could be that this new opportunity is uh, becoming a big burden to you. 
maybe work, working and growing your wealth is uh, become a duty, a responsibility, an obligation. It's backbreaking work, and you want to uh, move forward with that. <clears throat> uh, let it go. Step back. You're almost there, so don't give up. You're getting toward the end of this. You're going to let this down. That's what your higher power wants you to know, that uh, you're seeing the wisdom. You're seeing the truth of this. And you're going to have to, this is another card of, um, this is a card of release, of surrender. So you're surrendering some heavy burden, obligation, uh, responsibility toward your wealth, toward uh, the wisdom you're seeing about what you're growing financially. And you're sacrificing an old way. You could be right now being hung up. Something is not going as quickly as you'd like, even though you're seeing something from a new perspective. But you have to let go and release um, an old way of looking at this burden. And that will help you get in this burden because <clears throat> You see this seven of court, what are you praising? How are you looking at that? Well, you're seeing it as with the three of pentacles. There is a lot of earth here. This is like you're making something practical. You're bringing something down. It, it's about your finances. And you are going to get recognition uh, for whatever it is you're working on. You've been maybe appraising, evaluating your skill set, what you produced. Uh, and you're going to get this information this week uh, that, yes, you are recognized. You're standing above the rest this week. And it could be because you have waited, suspended, sacrificed an old situation. And because the influence of your environment is the king of wands. Well, this is a fire sign, Aries, a Leo, uh, Sagittarius. This could be uh, energy around you coming from your environment, some entrepreneurial energy, maybe self-employment. If you are asking and appraising the work you're doing, and whether it's you're getting breadcrumbed financially about the work, but you've got a new opportunity, but what you see, this opportunity could be a heavy burden, or you could be having a heavy burden right now that you're needing to release uh, and see how far you've come, how much recognition you have already gotten with this um, collaboration. And the influence of your environment is someone who is fiery, confident, an entrepreneurial energy. And they're going to go for what they want with leadership and with a vision. And your hope and fear is the two of swords. Well, your hope and fear is uh, you have to make a decision. You could be blindfolded and blindfolded so you could go inward and introspect, uh, take time out um, to um, really think through this. Um, whatever this influence is coming in, some entrepreneurial idea, some passionate visionary, uh, you're having to take time out uh, to uh, really look at this. Um, this crossroads, this decision you're thinking through, you might not know how to make a decision about this yet. But the advice that's coming this week is uh, the Ace of <clears throat> Wands, well, another uh, Sagittarius fiery card. Um, so it's saying you've got this new opportunity. Uh, something is being given to you this week that's going to fire you up. It could be coming uh, from this, uh, your environment, from this uh, king of wands. This outgoing, extroverted leadership energy toward uh, making this decision with confidence, with fire, with um, energy, with intuition. And uh, that's what I have for you, uh, my Sagittarius. This is powerful. You come upon this week evaluating how much you've worked on something, what it is, what you've grown, what you've produced. Do you want to keep planting the seed uh, here uh, this week? Um, but the hermit is coming uh, as a challenge to this appraisal because you're seeing something truthfully. You're going inward. And you're seeing um, that maybe uh, you have a situation that is very much balanced and equal. Uh, you have a, a lot of gratitude uh, for what you've been given. 
and you've grown that. Uh, but a new opportunity came in in the recent past. That's the influence of this reading um, on this week. It's this opportunity. And you might have taken it and worked hard at it, but it's been backbreaking, um, a burden, a responsibility. You, maybe you feel like you've shouldered most of the work, and now it's time for you to release some, uh, let go, see it from a new uh, perspective. And you're going to see it because... What you're seeing is how much you uh, have collaborated with others and recognized how much you ha stand up and people are recognizing your skill. And the influence is maybe someone, an entrepreneur, uh, a passionate um, male figure that could be a masculine energy, could be a man or a woman, but someone who leads with this masculine, fiery, a confident, visionary energy. And maybe they're offering you a choice and you have to make a decision. You're at a crossroads about your career, about what you're doing with your money. And you're going to uh, get a, a bright idea. The advice is to take your passion, that's what you're known for, Sagittarius, and to move confidently uh, toward a new beginning. And out with the old and in with the new. And you will be very successful when you do that. And you've got the green light, uh, love, travel, a humor and vitality are coming to you this week. And so it is. And thank you again for subscribing to my channel and leaving comments and thumbs up. And you know I love you all out there, my Sagittarius. Uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye.